Hi guys, I'm G and you're watching G's Closet. Welcome back to my channel. So today my video is another vlog. So in this vlog, what I have done is I have uh, done a small review on a few restaurants in Sri Lanka. So I visited these restaurants last week. So I thought I will give you guys a small review. So before we go on to the video, if you are new here, welcome to my channel. My name is G and my channel is about luxury, fashion, beauty and travel. So if you are interested in videos related to these topics, do subscribe to me by hitting that red subscribe button. And don't forget to hit that bell sign next to the subscribe button so that you guys will be notified whenever I upload a video. Also follow me on my Instagram gsclosset.lk. So let's jump into the vlog. So first we went for dinner at Plates. Uh, this is the new buffet restaurant at Cinnamon Grand Hotel. I thought the place was amazing. They have done it up pretty nicely. If you can remember what they had, this is completely different. So they had an amazing selection of food so this is the salad section i thought the salad was amazing i absolutely loved the salad Italian cuisine, Indian, uh, Chinese and finally Sri Lankan. is everybody's favorite section the dessert section i thought they had a beautiful variety of desserts and the setting was really beautiful i mean they had nicely decorated it with beautiful colors so i thought it was really amazing so if you haven't tried this place yet i think it's high time that you guys try their food
Bombay Para. Uh, this is situated in one golf phase. food was amazing i absolutely loved the food uh, me being a person who doesn't really enjoy a lot of indian cuisine i thought they had the best indian cuisine in sri lanka i really enjoyed the food guys you should try this place out as well I went towards the south part of Sri Lanka so basically I went to Dikwella with some of my friends and to be honest guys I discovered some beautiful places some hidden places I would say stop in the Quellavers Dots Bay House. So this is called the Dots Bay House simply because it's near the Hirikatiya Bay. So this is not a huge place but the atmosphere was amazing and guys the best part was the food. Food was amazing. They had a fusion Sri Lankan uh, food uh, available. So they had done pol roti uh, with some of the Mediterranean uh, dips which I thought was amazing and it was a great idea as well. You guys have to check this place out. So since Dots Bay House is situated near the Hirikatia Bay, you can definitely take a dip in the sea. stop in the Kuala was smokes and bitters. This was the highlight of all the places I visited. This was an amazing place. I loved this place so much. The atmosphere was amazing. The view was to die for. If you are looking for a nice place for the sundown, I think this is the best place that I could recommend. is exceptionally good guys i mean i have never tasted food this good in sri lanka if you guys happen to be around the Kuala, i think this is a must visit place
from me today guys hope you guys enjoyed the video and if you guys have already visited these restaurants do let me know what you thought about these restaurants down in the comment section below and if you haven't visited them yet do visit them and let me know what you thought about it and if you enjoyed the video do give this video a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed yet do subscribe to me by hitting that red subscribe button and the bell sign next to the subscribe button so that you guys will be notified whenever i upload a video Hope to see you guys soon in my next video. Until then, have a great week and stay safe.